What's going on, everyone? All right, today, you know, I always look forward to these. We're going to be reacting to more comedy. This is going to be Burt Kreischer being a savage for 10 minutes straight. Now, I don't know if that means comedy or not. I don't really know what this video is about, but Burt Kreischer is a funny fucking man, so how can it not be? So we're going to get into this now. All right, let's go. Beautiful. I fell because I'm fat. <laughs> Why are you fat? Because I'm married to you and I don't care what I look like anymore, all right? Did you wear... <laughs> Wait, did you, did you wear a Speedo when you went to Australia? Not only did I not wear a Speedo, <laughs> I'm the most covered-up guy you'll ever see on the... I cover everything when I'm... Do you wear swim shirts? He said, it's a girl. And I went, fuck. <laughs> it was all women in your... <laughs> oh, what? yeah, two girls. Let's talk about Mexicans. Here we go. Oh, God. Hey, and I can, I can tell these jokes because my daughters are Mexican. <laughs> well, not real Mexicans, but they watch a lot of Dora, so technically. <laughs> Ever been with an info. Mm. I, I don't, can I tell you, I, I didn't even think that's real. It's real. Like, there are girls that are, like, I, I, I think I've been brainwashed in the, like, in the category of, uh, of, of, women's rights does that make sense i think so I remember when i was in eighth grade or seven yo i love tom segura and burt kreischer's podcast they are so fucking funny together just burt always says some outlandish shit and tom gives them these fucking looks the funny thing with burt kreischer <clears throat> is that like even outside, he's almost funnier outside of his stand-up because he's just naturally funny. I feel like he's still really funny in his stand-up too, but when he goes into like just talking and ranting, dude, he says some funny fucking shit. And I really love when Tom's there to like interact with him because Tom's big thing is his facial expressions. He does that a lot in his comedy too where he like gives looks. His looks are so fucking funny and the way he plays off of what Bert says is fucking Perfect. I love it. Seventh grade and meeting another kid who still believed in Santa Claus and the hazing. Yeah, uh, yeah, and, and, and you know, you set them up for ridicule a tad bit, but they have a good group of friends, <laughs> we're good parents. I mean, oh, kind of. You're parents. not ridiculing them or hazing them. Uh, a little bit. I mean, gently, you know? <laughs> uh, no, it, it's not up there. All right. I don't see it. Although, forward those links to me. I'm going to send them to Leanne and be like, I can't wait to come home tonight. You better not be on your period. The, uh... Well, no, it's so funny. They, the way they said it to me, they oh, were like... Oh, like, like, we just did it. You're the type it, of guy that would show fortune your butthole. And I went... Hilarious. I went, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, you would. And I went... And I was like... Because I'm thinking in this Me Too world that I'm like, what are you saying <laughs> the kind of person I am? <laughs> and they're like, you showed your butthole to fortune. And I go, hold on. No, I haven't. They're like, that's so oh. funny. On Sorry. the cabin. And I was like, oh, yeah, I did. I These tables go lower. Oh, is this for Kevin Hart when he was on? <laughs> I think that's. Yeah, Bert does probably so much fucking crazy shit. He can't even remember everything he's done. That's hilarious. Plus, he's fucking drunk all the time. But <laughs> that's, that's besides the point. I was like, oh, yeah, I did. I these tables go lower. Oh, is this for Kevin Hart when he was on? <laughs> I think that's just because you're yoked out. I think it's because you're yoked out. Yeah. Yeah. Think... Does anyone speak Russian in here? No. I love that someone says no. <laughs> no. I did a head count earlier. It doesn't look like it. I remember saying to her, I was like, this is really important, Isla. I go, did you come up with that on your own? Because I'm going to tell that on stage tonight. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, yeah. I just thought of it. I, I, it looks like a punch. Fuck, that brain. You know, it's not, it's like, I, it's, I say it, it's not like going to be useful to society in any way that we'll reap the benefits, but someone's going to reap the benefits of it. The whole street was black eyes, and uh, we sat on the roof, and there was not a goddamn thing we could do. Wait, how many black guys? No, not <laughs> black guys, black ice. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Bert. I thought, Jesus I had, Christ. I had a visual The whole of, street was black guys. <laughs> I had a visual of like 200 black guys just watching white people careen. And I'm like, holy, it got so much better. I probably it's slurred my so words. so much better of a story watching it's a bunch of black guys like it's a slam dunk contest. Like, oh, shit. It's Fridays. My wife goes to therapy and her chiropractor. 
So I got her to school, called the house. I answered, she's like, Dad, I got my period. I was like, prank caller, prank caller. <laughs> I was like, you called the wrong number, dickhead. Call your mom. <laughs> I was dating this chick I didn't like, right? I was just unhappy. I was fat, I was unhappy. Go to the yoga class and I feel a connection of like sweating and stretching and really holding a pose. And the guy is walking and he's like, what don't you like about your life right now? And it was clear to me, I was like, he was talking this to girl. you. And allow the bear the opportunity to engage you. He needs to engage you and take the marshmallow out of your mouth to this with one. his mouth. This way he'll learn to trust you. And I was like, fuck that. <laughs> Who thought of this, the bear? Is this the bear's idea? It's not for, not everyone, not everyone can keep, keep up the pace of like real racehorses. I've had a lot of, I've lost a lot of friends to sobriety. That's how I met Will, so. Met Will Smith. Yeah. And that's an odd story too, right? Well, yeah, I, yeah, I thought he wanted to fuck me in the ass. <laughs> that's what you thought. Cause Will's like, let's go to the movies. And I was like, okay. And I told my dad, we're going to the movies. And my dad's old school, he's like, what, I got my date? And I was like, no. And he's like, who goes to the movies? He's like, buddy, this is very popular in Hollywood. The, uh, the big movie stars get so tired of women, they just want to turn out young boys. And I was like, that's impossible. He's like, what's more likely? The fact that you're so talented that the biggest movie star in the world wants to make a sitcom about you, or that he's tired of women and he wants to fuck you in the ass. I was like, shit. I dated a girl that was so dumb. Yo, Bert is so impressionable. You can just like, if you're confident and you like make it an interesting story, I guarantee you could probably get him on board about it. But he's, he's so cool and makes everything fucking hilarious about. He's tired of women and he wants to fuck you in the ass. I was like, Shit. I dated a girl that was so dumb one time. She was literally the dumbest chick. She was afraid to eat pizza alone. She was afraid she'd choke and no one would be there. <laughs> but yeah, but th that's not why that's not what made her dumb. She literally asked me one time, she goes, she's gonna be a flight attendant? She goes, does the, the Concord, does that go to the speed of sound or the speed of light? You gotta realize though, the reason they loved me is I went shot for shot with them that night, all night long, until like four in the morning. But all I knew how to say in their language was, I'm the machine! <laughs> and I fuck cats. <laughs> Would you rather give up porn or sex for one year? Sex for one year. How? Fucking come on. <laughs> I've been married, I've pretty much given it up. Because how much is it? Okay. Go, go fuck yourself, that's how much it is. And she goes, you don't talk to me like that. And I go, go fuck yourself again, don't talk to me. And Ravi goes, ah, oh, play, you should've just let me pay it for it, player. <laughs> And she is staring down at me and she says to me in her southern accent, are you okay? <laughs> and I looked back at her with, with the sun caressing her face. And I knew without a doubt in that instant, at that very moment, you're like, really? That's when you knew? Yeah, that's when I knew I would have never done that for her. What's a secret that you've kept from her that she would not be happy to hear if she were, say, watching right now? <laughs> Bert always fucking just dying laughing at his own thoughts and everything he says on his own. He's one of those people that laughs at his own jokes and it's fucking hysterical. He'll, he'll even do it on stage. <laughs> there goes Tom. Would you rather be the best looking dude in the world or be able to read minds? Oh. Okay, let's, let's think this out. Best looking dude in the world. It's gotta be nice, you can fuck everyone. Everyone wants to give everything. Everyone smiles when they see you. As opposed to being ugly when they see you, they're like, can I help you, sir? As opposed to, hey, can't wait to help you. But if you read minds and you're just a regular person, that's gotta be so painful all day. They're like, look at this fat fuck. Oh, I'm sure he's gonna fart. I'm moving trains. You also did a Russian bath, which to me, I laughed so hard what is a watching bath? that. What is it? I okay. didn't see it. They get you totally naked. They lay you on this, on this literally like a, 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 a slab of concrete, a slab of marble. And then a guy comes in in like a loincloth and starts beating you with birch branches, just smacking you. And he washes your are whole you, body. Are you on your back? Or he, you're you're your naked right? and he washes your whole body. And he does not care what he touches. It's leg up underneath, <laughs> leg up underneath. He's washing you. And, and by the way, I sh it should be noted, and maybe I shouldn't say this on TV, he happened to be covered in herpes sores. And the whole time oh, I'm going like, I'm like, this is not clean. Someone, oh, someone get me out of here. And then, and then he's like, all right, get in the water. And then you just get in ice cold water. And he goes, okay, into room. And then you go into the room and it's 200 degrees in the room. You're like, my lips are burning. I think I caught what he has. And then he's like, all right, I clean you one more time. You're like, I think I'm good. Would you rather date a girl who what? constantly sneezes on you 
or constantly farts during sex. <laughs> <laughs> can't even answer that. Move on you. So anytime you're like, hey, this is my wife, you're like, God damn it, nah, never mind. Exactly. Or as you're fucking her, it says, <laughs> The primo way to swim. I'm a child. I don't know that I could handle fucking a girl and she farts every time because I would die laughing. <laughs> I couldn't, I don't think I could deal with that. Is naked. Yes. And Speedos are one step away from naked. You are like a goddamn dolphin in the water, just <laughs> like. It's time to burn some bridges. Bert, rank these comedians from funniest to least funny. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Diaz, Ari Shafir, Joe Rogan, and Tom Segura. You Ooh. get to kind of work your way up to oh. the last. And if you don't know, they're all pretty close friends. They all know each other and interact with each other a lot. So this is like, uh, like hitting close to home basically on this question. Dab when you're on the show. Here, very steep ramp up when we just lay three last dab wings down. Ari's the least funny. I can say that. Okay, you don't actually have to answer. I just wanted to put that out there so everyone knew that. Ari's the least funny. <laughs> Yo, they always fucking pick on that dude. I don't, I've never actually seen any of his stand-up. Um, I think he hosts that show that I've reacted to a couple times. But other than that, I don't really know. I don't think I've seen his stand-up. Maybe I'll have to react to that sometime. Because I don't really know him too well. Big J goes, Bert, uh, you asked Adam Sandler if he had Netflix. I said, yeah, because my special's on Netflix. And he goes, Bert, he has a $200 million deal at Netflix. He definitely has fucking Netflix. And then he goes, and then you called his movie Happy Madison. It's Happy ah! Gilmore, Billy Madison. <laughs> he goes, and then you called his movie Precious Gems. I go, it's not Precious Gems. What if you were the commissioner of the NFL? So I actually remember watching that episode of uh, Joe Rogan's podcast when he was on that. I was thinking um, Happy Madison, I think, is actually um, a production company or some sort of company inside of Adam Sandler's movies that he makes because that Happy Madison is a title that always comes up at the beginning or the end of his films. So in a way, it's still technically something. <laughs> it's not the movie, but... You could wave a wand and become, and you, you could, you, a Burt Kreischer rule change could be instant. The owners are meeting today. Yeah. We could actually, I could run this up the flagpole and see if there's any owner that would even raise their hand and say, this is my idea. I would, what, what would clean like be? steroids. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you go, hey, I want to get married and have kids, but you don't really know what that means. Right. And then you're like, oh, I'm not leaving the house now for six years. Right. I'm going to be raising children. I'll be paying for this for the next 30. Exactly. Oh, God, I'm having sex with the same woman for the rest of my life. <laughs>
But um, yeah, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. If you like the other shit I do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That would help me out a lot. If you haven't seen my stuff, go check out a few more things and maybe you might want to subscribe. But if not, that's cool. Uh, you know, I just do this shit for fun. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and I will catch you around.